Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial in camera and lens repair. And this time I actually got an old Hexanon Konica Hexanon AR 100mm 2.8 because it has well fungus as you will see in a short time. And um, yeah I got it for free because it has serious fungus and we will just look into it i mean i took a picture before i actually make this uh, cleaning and of course i will also show how it was after and um, if we put a torch i mean some light through it i mean you probably can see there are some dirt in here but when we put a light through it it will be <laughs> even worse looking so um, is it possible to actually clean that old fungus away? You can see there is something on, uh, maybe you can see there is something on the back lens group here where, and especially in, well, there is something on the front. Uh, maybe there are some dirt in here. <clears throat> I don't know, but um, it needs some cleaning so let's go ahead you need a few tools it could be whatever I mean to disassemble this kind of lens uh, we need some compass tool uh, you can use a modified uh, uh, yeah what <laughs> caliber old lens tool uh, modified to this and that different sorts of this is a hole saw which I grind so I have two uh, pins and it makes it so much safer to actually uh, take the lens apart without scratching any lens element we also need some cleaning solvent and uh, pick pads I will go for this because that's what I can get in the shop and I will try with 3% hydrogen peroxide uh, just for the from the apotheque, nothing special. I will also try with some isopropyl alcohol, 99%. I don't I don't think it will be due anymore, but uh, do much. And if not, I will try with 10% of hydrogen peroxide just to be <laughs> just to see what what can be done. We also need some rubber tools, especially the rubber cone number five for the front. Or you could go into the hardware store and buy some of those gaskets from the plumber section, which is really good sticky. Uh, we need a pencil, um, a uh, very f pointed uh, thing, tool for making scratch. It could be a needle or something. Uh, we will also maybe use the other uh, cones here. But let's jump into it. It will be very interesting. So um, I found out I taking a sneak peek inside just to see what uh, how to get into the fur thing. But I haven't been taking off the lens on the back or either in here. Just a sneak peek. But I found out set the lens to uh it could be a e uh just so we have that uh, as a start because it will make it easier for you to, when you put it back in again then set the focus to um infinity so that's a good starting point now we'll take need to take off the front nameplate which is made of uh, aluminium and if it sits tight well, we could use some isopropyl alcohol. Um, see, I have one bottle for cleaning and one bottle for anything else like um, dissolve. Uh, well, it could be screws or so if they are too tight. But if there are some uh, thread lock around the edge you can just add a little um, 
maybe a lot uh, it depends and uh, then we can try to unscrew it I can use the number five see how it will go yeah it's not so good but but this one it's much more sticky rubber it's no problem it will just uh, make the things a lot easier and then I can come into the front something not really um, I will go for the cleaning of the glasses I don't care if there is any old old really old fungus in there I guess it's uh, maybe dead or something um, but I think it, it, it will make sense uh, but of course I can show you some part of it uh, that I could clean but it's the glass element that's uh, important in this situation now there is a front ring here just see it here um, it's it with three screws and my reference in everything in this case will be my index mark and it will also be in uh, a screw inside here uh, where is my reference in um, you see when you take off those rings here you will move the lens element so make a scratch or set a mark or whatever I will show you so this uh, ring has to sit there and we could just make a a, a little scratch in here <clears throat> we need a longer tool whatsoever now well you can set a mark here on the side of the uh, which I already did in here so take out the three screws nothing special and again if it's a case you can just use some uh, nail polish I mean not nail polish but yeah you could also probably use some acetone or so but give it a little dab in here just to loosen the screws um, so it might be easier for you to unscrew this sometimes screws can be can sit really hard especially when they use the thread lock but of course it depends so out with this ring nothing special and you can see there are some old uh, it looks like it's it is uh, old degraded oil from the focus system which I think it is so maybe there will be another go for this lens now to make it easier to unscrew the the uh, lens aperture assembly uh, we need to um, make a scratch somewhere you see the index mark here orange one and we set a mark up here I did that before because uh, since I didn't know how the lens um, assembly was put in I better set a mark just in case I well something was happening so now we need to use a tool it could be whatever tool we could try to use a adjustable caliber uh, you see I just uh, grind the pins here so they be they better can go in here or other lenses and sometimes it's good mm -hmm. yeah sometimes it's not so good but we can try to unscrew it and like this just in case you do not have those uh, special tools like I have here old grinded tool but uh, we can just do use this one 
and it's canned. As I remember, this ring sits a little tight. So, out with that. And uh, let's see if we can get it out because this ring is hold the the whole lens assembly in place. Ah, not good. I will better do this. It's more safer and easier to unscrew. So if you can get if you can get some of those old compasses from a, a flea market, you should buy them. You can always grind them into another dimension or shape or whatever. So this is the ring, nothing special. And then, as uh, in the beginning, I set a mark here because just in case uh, something was moving, but it wasn't. But I better do it anyway, just so I know the exact position of this uh, when I put it back in again. So now the whole lens assembly is ready to be taken out. Remember the AE, set it to that, or 16 could also be. And um, now I can simply pull out the whole lens assembly. And this is how it looks inside. You see the fork down here, this kind of a, with the notch uh, here, this one. It has to be to go all the way over to as long as it can when you pull it when you put it back in again. It will say this pin here has to go all the way over to here. So away with that. So now we are looking into the whole the lens aperture assembly. Um, this is the aperture. Uh, I don't know what's called that moves the blades uh, related to the pin in here so um, and we can take the whole front uh, lens assembly out by simply unscrew the whole front here this is the ring here and um, it's a good thing remember to set the mark here because it's your reference in everything you do from now on. Um, so when you take out the front lens or the next lens element or the back here, it will relate to this mark. So when you make a mark somewhere, it could be right now, we could just set a mark here, see it? It could be black or red or whatever color you have doesn't really matter the thing is the lens uh, has to sit in the correct position when you put it back in again now then we can unscrew it and um, it's a bit greasy so i would just uh, use another glove to hold on to the this uh, lens here, and if I have another one, this one here, and simply unscrew it. And again, yeah, we can just do that. As I remember, when I was in the, this lens for a long time, you can. Uh, there are some thread lock in here, but we can again use some uh, isopropyl alcohol and simply add around here the edge so it will suck around and simply suck into the thread and hopefully it can uh, be unscrewed but then have a good grip here take care of not bending anything underneath 
and we can simply use another glove to put on and so it came off and maybe it could be you get the the front ring here off instead so that's why it's good to set a mark before you unscrew anything just in case something happened so now we're looking into the aperture assembly uh, nothing special I will not go in for that and uh, since we're in here uh, we could try to unscrew the back uh, lens assembly which I guess is this ring here and it sits with an inner uh, retaining ring but I have no idea how it looks uh, behind this so I better go for unscrew that so have a good grip here and maybe we should take one of the cones to have an even better grip it's a number four put on here and maybe I it will be necessary to use a bigger cone in front but I have a good grip here so let's see if it's possible <clears throat> okay it came off good <laughs> beware of that this pin here so we unscrew that and hmm, what's inside here okay it looks uh, it looks fine and this is the aperture <laughs> assembly it looks um, a bit there are some old traces of old degraded oil separated oil so I can get rid of the <coughs> aperture assembly now we have both lens element lens groups out so I will just begin with the most in interesting thing this that's the front so uh, <laughs> what uh, yeah I think you can see there are two two holes here that we can use a a uh, lens tool compass whatever you have I could also try the other the caliber adjustable caliber uh, maybe it will go I don't know maybe we can yeah I think it will fit it's more is it easy to unscrew or not yeah they probably also have used some old uh, thread lock I guess yeah it seemed like there so I will just use a curtain butt again and some isopropyl alcohol and hopefully it will be easy in a way to unscrew it you can see let it just suck in with a lot of is popular alcohol to soften the the old uh, thread lock so I think it will be fine for now they I think they also use something on the front uh, lens retaining ring looks like now then we can um, see how it will go it's actually very dirty <laughs> this one no I would think this one is good to hold on to its number five let's go directly on here <coughs> on the front and then I will use my, uh, my caliber let's see if it's possible but before doing so I need to set a scratch here is my where is my main scratch oh up here see there it is 
so I will go for setting a mark here and I will go for setting it mark up here so <clears throat> at least uh, close to it so now I know the position of that so it will be interesting to see if it's possible to get that back ring here out no oh, came loose and you see <laughs> when I move the ring the lens is also moving that's why it is important to set a mark before you take out the lens element what's inside here okay whoa <laughs> Yeah, I can see this lens need a re-grease with all the old uh, dirty oil, I mean, from the focus system. Let's see, uh, is it possible that I can just, we can just fill in my hand? I probably need something to let it fall into. So I will try, hmm, not this one the best one maybe this one can be a good thing hmm. it's good to have some of those uh, rubber cone the uh, rubber tools when you work with a uh, lens element we can just yeah the, I think it's okay so can I just put it in I mean let it fall out oh it's quite uh, okay. Hmm. It's there is a lot of vacuum in here. Hold on a second. I will uh, try to do something else. Just so the lens will not f just fall off. I will put this ring on again, just a little, and then. I will try to unscrew the front uh, retaining ring and for that I will use some isopropyl alcohol again and let it just suck into the front so there let's see will it be possible so there and um, what about this ring nah it's too big I mean small so I can just use number six to hopefully <laughs> unscrew it it goes since I set a mark here so it's not a problem Okay, nothing special. Then I will just take out this uh, lens element with my lens sucker here. Whoa, tight fit. And uh, it looks okay on the back there. I thought it was a cemented lens, but it wasn't. And there are some mark in here i don't know if anybody else have been into this lens uh, but let's see so nah maybe i should put this on a bigger one so now i would think uh, i will be able to take out the back here without any problem so and it should pop in to my hand but of course I have no idea it sits quite tight yeah whoa oh <laughs> so now we know that Um. yeah 
I didn't expect that. This really a dirty lens. <laughs> so uh, for now, I will just set a um, a mark here. Um, I can see somebody else has set a mark here, but it's very close to mine. So uh, maybe we could just do this. So, that's my uh, starting point. And this lens has some, uh, let's see. Yeah, there are really something up here. And uh, is it something on the surface? It is, it's not between the two lens element. It looks like there could be something, some uh, lens separation. Uh, if you look on, on the edge of the lens, but there is serious fungus in here. Now, the next thing it will be extremely interesting, I think. Is it possible to remove this old? It can fit in here. Good. Uh, it's the 40, 47 millimeter. So this is the most uh, <laughs> bad um, uh, fungus in this lens. Now, I will try to use the, I mean, uh, I simply will try to use the hydrogen peroxide because it's what I know best uh, of the solvent. And I would just use it on a cotton bud. I mean, not a cotton bud, but a lens wipe. And so now we saw was how it was before, and how will it be after this treatment? I'm really. Uh, Looking forward to that. So, uh, mm -hmm. well, something happened, <laughs> but how much? Let's have a look. See how much, I mean. I mean, it was really dirty before, but uh, I think it's amazing. <laughs> we better do the front, so uh, we have both. <laughs> it's just amazing. I think um, I'm really surprised. So we can, can we do the, uh, there are fungus over there. Will it be possible to take that away? Or not? I can see I need to clean. There are some oil film on the, okay. Is it gone? Looks like, hmm, interesting. So, and I need to use some uh, lighter fluid uh, just to get rid of the of the oil film, grease film, or whatever. And um, very, very interesting. <laughs> I just need to wipe away. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. I'll just go for the lighter fluid and wipe it away. <laughs> I'm surprised, really surprised. <laughs> it wasn't even necessary to use the 3%. Wow. I mean, that's 
that's <laughs> that's just exciting we had a extremely funko side uh, lens but now <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> that's just amazing I mean it looks like new so and it wouldn't be possible when use uh, I mean if we can take the back lens here uh, and see how good it will go with isopropyl alcohol I don't think it will do anything to it uh, but I need to clean the the yeah the speed marker I mean the red mark I set because um, I need to clean that away we cannot have a red color in in our lens but the isopropyl alcohol is really good for that you can see the red is, uh, is gone here so I'll just do the the uh, the cleaning with I mean the final cleaning with the lighter fluid Let's see that's all fine yeah what can we say it's just amazing is a very very old lens but and there are maybe some mark uh, whatsoever in the edge there could be something so maybe I should give it another go with the um, with the hydrogen peroxide doesn't have to be much and then do the yeah maybe it's not necessary yeah I need to do the final cleaning with the lighter fluid We need just need a little more. Yeah, that's okay for now. Yeah. Wow, what a difference! A huge difference. I mean, that's. Uh, I'm amazed. Sorry for that. Uh, so we can put it aside and do the front, uh, the front lens also needs some tension. And before I do anything with that, I will simply set a mark here on the edge and I can see somebody else has done maybe it was in the factory so maybe no one have been into this lens except for the, the factory how bad is it actually well it's just uh, old dirt and dust and something not really serious or uh, maybe there are some fungus in the edge but we will I say we will I think we will deal with that. Um, yep. So, so I will do the uh, inside first. Yeah, I'll do the front first because then I can clean it afterward if it's uh, necessary. 
But first I will take away the mark, uh, which I um, set. And so we can get rid of that. So, and I think I will also uh, do the, the isopropyl, I mean the hydrogen peroxide on the front lens element because it's probably also infected by something. Could be. And then do a final cleaning with lighter fluid. And it probably need two goes for that. So yeah, it needs another go. So we just use more of those. It's just more economical to cut them in smaller pieces, like I do. Working with the small lens element. So. I think it will be okay for now. We can just see what's going on on the on the inside of the lens, and uh, do something with that. So it's also get rid of whatsoever there was of fungus. So there for now and do a cleaning with lighter fluid so yeah it will there is some oil film on it I mean the hydrogen peroxide will not take away the the greasy stuff so And it also need another go. There's really a lot of, of uh, of uh, old oil film. So one go is not enough. Wow. <laughs> I think it's amazing. Just amazing. And it was uh, really dirty before, but uh, maybe there are some small. But on the edge, it looks fine. So I think uh, I will just put this lens, I mean, those two lens elements, in place and uh, say that's all fine. I have my mark here you maybe can see it yeah there and uh, I think I will just ah, it's really really dirty mm. not good um, hmm. hold on a second I'll just go and clean this uh, because it need that Okay, uh, I just cleaned the two rings here um, because then I can put the the front lens group into place. And yeah, I think I will just put this the front in first. I have my marks, my mark there, my mark here. So uh, I can simply put this ring on. And hopefully it will be there. Hey. Okay. 
<laughs> it was the wrong way, of course. It has to sit like this, yeah, still. My mark is here. Sometimes people can get confused about that. So, here we are. And it sits where it... Where did it go? Here. There. And then I can add the front ring and the same time holding on to the the front lens so it will not move yep. so now it sits in place of course there are some fingerprints from my glove but it doesn't really matter then I can add the second lens group and uh, of course there is something on just a tiny fragment and uh, just to find my mark should be somewhere here my mark is there so I can simply add this lens into place and there is a lot of hmm. yeah it's really really tight fit so now it sits where it should then I can add my ring here just to be sure where the mark was just so we not get surprised I just need a little mark here see So I can see when I put the ring on, where is the correct position. Be aware of this uh, thread, is uh, so you're not just screw it in and damage the thread. Click. It's fine for now. So, and it will stay there. So, um, I mean, if we look away, ah, always, there will always be a little hair that comes in. Where's my mark? There, because then I can just unscrew this front and get rid of whatsoever <laughs> so it is working with lenses goes there so much better. Or oh, was there a hair in here? No. Is something old? So that's okay for now. It's okay for now. I'll put it aside and then we can take the back lens group. Um, 
and I yeah, there is sitting a ring here. Um, and I actually forgot to set a mark here. So I will just screw it in again. And uh, mark the position. So this is my mark up here with the screw, not the screw, it's not a screw, but uh, something. And we can just make a fine scratch down here. So that's it. <clears throat> no one will see it except for if they take the lens apart. So, it will just make it easier <coughs> with the assemble process. So, uh, again, set a mark on one lens element here. So, and uh, we can probably also set the mark with a pen. It doesn't really matter about the ring and we need to unscrew that yes and uh, for now i can also set a mark here on the very back the lens element i have no idea how many lens element is in here but uh, so and then i can uh, do the disassemble of that uh, is there any? Yeah, I will just use some some isopropyl alcohol on the back, and uh, oh, so, and then add. So let it sit a little, then I can do the, the very back, I mean the inner lens element. And no one has been into this lens. So there. And uh, yeah, my mark is there, my there, no. okay. So uh, I will uh, take apart this. Okay, it goes with the number three. Put it on there. And maybe use a number four of this. And have a good grip on it. Oh, it doesn't sit that tight. So there is a uh, hope. Yeah, you can see the whole, the lens would also move. But now it's free. So there. Nothing special. It looks fine, nice and fine. Maybe I'm not, uh, will not be able to take the lens out because there is, it's so tight fit, so it won't come out. But uh, no, I think it's just easier to take out the the very back lens element. Just screw this in, and then we can try to unscrew this uh, the back here. And for that, I make this hole saw, and uh, I mean. Not specially for this one, but uh, for other lenses. Uh, but it fits actually quite okay here. So, and it doesn't sit that tight. So we can just unscrew this. 
and this ring looks also fine, no problem. So I can take out the very back lens element, which is also in the most focused. So there, wow, nice element. And there is focus in here. You probably can see there's a dot there. But it's more on the very back. There is some serious uh, focus here. Let's have a torch. Oh, yeah. It's also a little dirty, but of course doesn't really matter I think I, I think we can make it and before I continue just so we remember that set a mark here on the side of the lens and that's it you won't see it on the inside here so there is no you 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 safe that way so uh, we need a stand to put it on and I think I will just go for the very back first because then the lens can stay there maybe there is a better one yeah, I think I will nah yeah this one is better it fits okay so and now we can do the back and for that uh, I will use some um, a peg pad, some hydrogen peroxide, just a little, see how good it will be. So there. Uh, not easy to see because of the drops. But I will just go for cleaning uh, with the lighter fluid. And we can do another take. Okay. <laughs> uh, there was something on here. Yeah, wow. It looks like it's extremely clean. There's something down here. <clears throat> just go for another one a uh, last go for this uh, site yeah what can I say <laughs> it's uh, it's amazing it's just amazing so we can take the other side remember your mark before you wipe it away and then we do the hydrogen peroxide cleaning stuff It looks like the hydrogen peroxide could wipe away the 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 permanent marker, which is good. 
and I will just go for another cleaning go with the lighter fluid so and we can just use the other side and then do a final cleaning so there well I think there is not really anything to say about this because uh, I'm amazed I'm just amazed the lens was so dirty and so fungus but now it's uh, yeah <laughs> amazing so uh, I will just put this aside where and then take the the inner lens element because this also have a a focus dot in there so I think you would be able to just pop it out yeah no problem so and I set the mark here and I will also set a mark here on the um, on the edge here so so we have our mark where they should stay so now we can go for cleaning this uh, lens element. Uh, I think I will go for the inside first. <coughs> yeah, I will do that. And some pack pad. Some hydrogen peroxide, the magic fluid. <laughs> and then do some cleaning. And just a light brush pressure on this uh, lens. So, and I also wipe away the the old uh, I mean the pen mark so I think it's okay for now then uh, do the, the lighter fluid cleaning I think So there and so this last go for this uh, lens site and then I can put the thing back in again so for now oh I mean, there was fungus before but uh, now it's actually gone so um, I need a better stand for this lens maybe this one can be fine yeah I will try that yeah and so ah, 
needs a little oh. so there and then the last uh, go with uh, lighter fluid And then we can assemble the whole lens again. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> uh, we just use to make the last go and a uh, few drops and uh, I think it should be fine. Wow. So now look. let's have a look through it. And then put it into the mount again. This way, here. And the mark I set, I just have to find the correct mark here. Then put it. Sit, sit there. Then add this ring. Just do a little backward. And then turn the lens element a little, then screw the retaining ring on. So it will stay in place. So, <clears throat> so now it sits where it should. Then I can add the, the other uh, lens, uh, I mean the very back lens element. Put that in. It also has a mark, and I can just use my blunt sucker for that. My mark, those marks are in line. What a difference! I think it's just amazing. So there, and it doesn't move. So, so now it's fine. How does it look? There probably could be a hair or something. Uh, there might be. But uh, there's no fungus. <coughs> so I'll just um, assemble the whole lens and say that's uh, all fine. Uh, where is this assembly here? I can just add the very back so my mark is here my screw not a screw actually it's more a eccentric screw 
So, and um, I was actually uh, when I press on the side, I was actually pressed a little on this pin. So uh, it was bended a little. So now I can add the front section, the front lens group. Everything looks okay to me. Yeah, uh, what can I say? It's uh, it has been an amazing journey. I would just use a uh, peg pad to just wipe the very front. Yeah, there is a fingerprint from my from my glove. It doesn't really matter. I mean, yeah, we'll just do the last go for this. Let's say that's all fine. Well, I think it's okay. It's not a new lens, so... But how does it look? There could be small hairs in there, I know. But... Uh, <laughs> yeah, there are maybe some small... Yeah, there are some small hairs here on the back. Actually a lot. But to me... The lens is so much better than it was. So now it can be used to something. And uh, I will just uh, put it back into the, the focus assembly. And uh, this pin here, this pin here, goes into the kind of fork in here. And uh, just turn it a little until this uh, screw kind of go into this notch here. And remember, set it to A E. Maybe it was bent it a little too much. So, hopefully it will work. Mm -hmm. If it's there, I think. Yep, sit where it should. Then add this uh, ring. It was a bit tricky to put in. Um, eh. So, where is my and tool going a little backward uh, would be the ah, sometimes easy to put the there was a uh, <laughs> retaining rings ah. <laughs> uh, there it should go Hmm. 
Yeah. So here we are. And hopefully it will, so it says click and I can add the, type in this ring boot. <coughs> so then add the front ring here, the mark I set in the beginning. And then add this uh, screw into here. So then this. So tighten it good. No need for any thread lock in this case. I mean, you could add something to the the shiny retaining ring. Then the, the front name ring goes on and we need the number five. Yes. So now, what a difference. I mean, what a difference it is. So, um, well, it turned out to be much better than I expected, uh, but still, well, it's an old lens. So uh, there will be a uh, before cleaning and after cleaning. Uh, so hope you can find it very useful uh, and maybe fix your own lens. See you sooner. Bye bye.